My name is Saima and I'm a carer for my father who is 81 years old. He has a diagnosis of dementia and he's had dementia for five to six years. He requires us to guide him through whether it's day and night. We have to encourage him to wash and dress himself and to motivate him to eat. So the first thing that we noticed that was different about my dad was that he started to forget what day it was and what time is it or where have I put my glasses or can you remember where my watch is? He couldn't remember the way to some of the usual places that we, we visited. And then I think what made us realise that this is definitely something quite serious is when he forgot how to use the remote control. And I think that's when my heart sank really, that this is not related to a physical health problem, this is probably dementia. Dementia is a collection of symptoms which can affect memory, thinking, planning, mood, behaviour and even the way that you see the world around you. If it starts to affect your daily life, it's called dementia. Some of the signs and symptoms that can accompany dementia are forgetfulness. So people tend to repeat the same sentence over and over again. Sometimes people don't see the world as they used to. They may look in a mirror, see a reflection and not recognise it and think somebody else is in the room. It's important to remember that there's more to the person than just the dementia. The person that you know and love is still there and that they may experience symptoms which are not their fault. On a day-to-day -day basis, my dad will not know the environment that he's in. So he won't know where the toilet is, he won't know where the bathroom is. Sometimes he thinks he's in Pakistan and uh, we'll say, oh right, okay, which part of Pakistan are you in? And we'll go along with that because we know he doesn't understand where he is and we'll just accept that and go with that rather than correct him because that will make him more upset, frustrated and annoyed. And we don't want to do that. We want to help him stay calm and feel safe. My name is Sophia Malik and Riaz Malik is my father-in-law. My father-in-law, he's currently struggling with dementia. I think the common or daily behavior of my father-in-law that we all pick up on is just the constant repetition. Whether it's in regards to asking questions, whether it's in regards to something that's so important to him that he likes to share that over and over again. That's the main thing that we've noticed that has affected him in this stage at the moment. In regards to taking care of my father-in-law, it's a collective effort, but the main care is my mother-in-law because they live together in the house by themselves. So clearly night, morning, and anything in between is her job. It's been difficult for my mother-in-law because she's learning as well on how to deal with it and come to terms with it. look after person ki. Sometimes shout sometimes it is very heartbreaking to see him in this condition when you pull up outside the house and he's like, are we home? Is this where I live? You know, um, it's sad. <laughs> Because of his dementia and him getting lost when he goes outside, we try to limit where he goes. And going to the mosque on Fridays was his highlight. So we try to, as a family, if it's half term or if anybody's around, they'll come here and they'll take him with them so that at least he can get a sense of a little bit of normality back. He enjoys going to the mosque. It's an excuse for him to meet his old friends. He likes chit-chatting and he likes meeting people. People living with dementia and their carers can live well with this condition. Although people may be forgetful, they can still have very enjoyable experiences. 
there are lots of community activities, such as reminiscence classes, dancing, singing and other activities. As a family, one of the things we appreciate is the Together Dementia Support Group. It was much needed for him. For my mother-in-law, it's the two hours respite she gets in the whole week. If he remembers anything, he has something different to talk about with his family. If he does any arts and crafts there, he's able to produce something. He, by nature, is a jolly man, so it's nice to see that on his face when he comes back. It's a blessing in disguise. When I was a fresh I was fresh mentally fresh. So people are familiar, logos are familiar. So they are mentally fresh up all the idea. My advice to other people who might be in a similar position or they suspect that a loved one might have dementia, it's really important to go and see a professional. We couldn't have supported my dad as well as we do without the support of our GP. It's really important to get support from the dementia nurse or the Alzheimer's Society, collect information, increase your understanding about what dementia is, how it affects people, because our experience with our father is unique. Everyone's dementia is very different and there are different types of dementia. So the more information that you can collect, the better prepared you can be to help support your loved one. My name is Shafa Bega. My dad passed away three years ago of diagnosed dementia. Caring for my dad, it was very difficult for my mom. A lot of hard work really, looking after somebody 24 hours seven who had severe dementia at the end. It is not a shame really to ask for help when we are caring for people with a dementia. You know, we must get this help, otherwise you'll burn out. Looking after a person with dementia can be challenging. The GP can be very helpful in dementia, from initial diagnosis to helping support you as the illness may progress. It's very important as a carer that you look after your own health, so please visit your GP for support. My advice to anybody who is going through this would be, culturally speaking, we consider old age and forgetting things to be part of old age. Whereas we clearly know now that dementia is a disease. There are steps that can be taken to slow it down. We have to culturally accept that if there is help, there's no shame in going for that help. You can save yourself a lot of hassle if you pick up on it and just bring it to your doctor's attention. It is a big stigma in our South Asian community. Once people are diagnosed with dementia, people don't like to talk about it. Our generation is getting older. We must have more awareness how to look after these people and have a best quality of life for them. Caring for someone with dementia can be both very rewarding and also very upsetting and it also has its challenges. It was very difficult for me and my family to accept that my dad's got dementia um, because we knew what would lie ahead, that he wouldn't always be the same person that he was. I'm very close to him and I can't talk to him about the things that I once did. So if I want any advice, I know I can't have that conversation with him. But the rewarding part is knowing that we can help him to remain as independent as possible and enjoy his life as best as possible. And that he's still with us, but not in mind. But physically, we still have his presence, which is very comforting.